Good morning. I'm the owner of this car, I'll tell you. He was lucky. So was I, actually. I didn't do my usual visual checks, but it only came in for a for a quick look and um, we've got engine management lights on all over the place and um, it's meant to be running rough well I saw him drive it here which he did and it's the um, the 1.2 uh, I think it's a three cylinder but uh, I will have a look in a minute um, and this is what I, I actually started it and my god it frightened me because I had this almighty crack and um, I, I turned it off quite quickly so this is what codes I got. Um, so the codes I've got, and we're going to brakes first, and have a quick look at what that was because this is because it's so long trouble codes, and in brakes, this is what we got. Please read DTCs and engine control. Right. Well, let's go back there then. But it was actually putting that light on and engine control module we'll have a quick look at what it says in there and we've got um, trouble codes come on baby I did look at the live data while I had it running and it with the map sensor weren't reading good so this is what I've got fuel trims short to plus Load detection, implausible value, short to uh, circuit to ground. Well, I don't really think that's going to help me out at all, especially when I started it. Engine management lights on. Right, let, let's go and have a little look what's going on. So I looked around here, I saw oil. Oil all around here, and I'm thinking, well... But the map sensor, that was reading wrong. And I wonder, oh, can we all see that? It's got its own chain viewing hole. So you can see if the chain's going round. I think that's a great idea. Mark the sarcasm. So we're going to repair that little hole there. And we're going to be putting a new timing chain in. And then we'll see what codes come up after that because uh, I think someone's been clearing the codes, don't you? Anyway, leave that with me, and we will go from there. Well, we've got it off. Uh, timing cover. Doesn't seem to be too much damage, apart from the hole in the top there. I'll take it that's what the chain done. Uh, this is what I found. Lots of little bits and pieces broken up. But I reckon there's definitely, I mean luckily, these um, studs didn't come out. I mean, how long has it been like that? But I think we might be able to save the old girl. I'll be taking the sump off because that's probably full of bits and pieces. I don't want them in there. I just wanted to get it off quickly to see if it was actually um, repairable. But these, to me, don't look as though they were tight. And I believe, and this chain doesn't look that old either. But, because that one there, don't look, that's, that's meant to be like that. But that looks, they look, as I say, these look as though they've been changed. I will probably never, ever, ever know what the actual outcome is apart from changing it and hopefully we will be able to uh, solve the problem well looking at it a bit more closer it's been running on there this one's nearly falling out and looking at that looks as though that's been worn away as well So I don't really know how long this has been done. Hmm. Well, let's order up three pins and put it back together again. Okie dokie, we're going to give this a repair. I've got some uh, JB Weld. 
and there's the hole I've mixed it up so it isn't grey anymore and we'll uh, leave it to go off I'm waiting for the bits to come for the other bit but that's how I'm going to fix the hole ok then catch you soon okie dokie I've got it on nice and smooth I'll grind that down later on or sand it down a little bit on top it's starting to go hard now I mean this bit's about 780 quid this bit so it's not exactly as though it's got any oil pressure or it's under any tension or anything like that so I think this would be a good fix for the customer and uh, it'll run another day Doggy. okay I've got the sump pan off um, yeah I don't think there's enough codes on that ECU for what I see and this is what's in the bottom That's all the bits of plastic. So I clean that up and then put it back in. Okey dokey, well clean it. I reckon this wasn't done that long ago because I've got more bits here than what I should have. Look, look. I don't think the sump was taken off last time, do you? Hmm. Okay, polo's all back together again. It runs, it's fired up first time. Uh, so I'm just about to take it for a test drive now. Um, just show you the codes before we even start. And uh, I'm going to take it for about 10 miles. Um, so if you have a look. I mean, load calculation. Now I'm pretty sure that this was short to earth last time, um, short circuit. But obviously now, the value, Lambda sensor's well out. But I mean, with the timing that far out, I mean, Christ. I mean, it's just um, P17 lean, lean, lean. So what I'm going to do, and the uh, ABS you had to go into um, the reason for that one was the engine control module right so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna clear because I've I've already saved the codes in case I need to go back to them but I think someone's actually been clearing codes and and not leave them there so um, it's definitely uh, a problem I'm hoping they disappear. Okay, I have cleared the codes. So we've cleared the codes now. And uh, these ones here, I'm not going to sort that one out. All that one, all that one. Because I think he's had it too loud. You can tell he's had it too loud. <laughs> I think all the speed. I think the speakers are all. Um, I think the speakers are all blowing out. So, listening to it, I think that's true. Anyway, this is what we're interested in: engine, ABS, and uh, I can give it back. So, I'm going to give it a test drive. Okie dokie, just come back off test drive, and um, I'm more than happy. Um, no fault codes. All the Lambda sensors, uh, all reading underneath six, six percent. Uh, long term, zero. I mean, that's great. So she runs like a sewing machine. I mean, it must run better now where it hasn't got the actual gauze all actually filled up with the broken plastic bits and pieces in there. Um, did it have one? I don't know. I really don't know when it was last changed. I mean, I'd expect to see some uh, marks on the guides from the chain, and there was nothing there. And those uh, pins, was those pins not changed when it was done? I, I don't know. So I say, the only thing I've got on on the hour is just like a, a, like a little wind on the gearbox, but that's nothing serious. Um, and it drives, 
drives perfect really so I think someone was a lucky lucky person really but without the chain actually going but I don't think it was still don't think it was that old anyway thanks for watching I mean uh, this is uh, I've got a few coming out at the moment but uh, it's just time and uh, I'm hoping the garage goes at the end of the month at all it was meant to go for the last six months now and I think the solicitors are made up muck up somewhere along the line um, but it will happen it'll happen anyway I will speak to you soon see you later bye